Hello, this is Lori, and I just wanted to share how to get around the uh, Faith Life groups. So what I did is, if you receive this link, faithlife.com slash Berean, it's going to take you to this page here. And if you're not signed in, it's going to look just like this. It's going to, in the upper right hand corner, give you this uh, sign in box or register if you've never signed up for Faith Life. It is free, so um, go ahead and do that if you haven't done so. And if you do have an account, then log in and it'll change the look. And then once you are signed in, you can click this Ask to Join button to become a part of this network, Berean Christians. And so now I'm going to show you what it looks like once you log in. This uh, is the main page for Berean Christians, and then there's uh, groups inside of it. Right now we have uh, three groups, and that will be growing based on the different Zoom meetings that we're having. So now I'm going to open up the one where I'm already logged in. And so this is my personal Faith Life uh, stream, if you will. And the best way to always check to know where you are, because if, if you're going in and out of different groups, is just check your URL. And if it's just faithlife.com, then you're at the main page. Um, and if you're a Facebook user, it's basically like that, that stream where all of your groups and your feeds from your friends and family all come into this one um, center stream area or feed. So um, because I belong to several different groups, I'm going to have messages and posts from all the different different groups. Okay, I'm just scrolling down here real quick. You can see how that works. On the right-hand side uh, is my personal sidebar. And a lot of people don't realize that you can customize this. I wanted to show you how to do that in case you're interested in that. You click on your picture in the upper right-hand corner and click on Account Settings. And when that comes up, you're going to have three tabs, Profile, notifications and sidebar. So we're talking about the sidebar right now, so I'm going to click on that. And this is where you can grab something from the widget list side and drag it over to the active side. So this this middle column is a representation of what it's actually going to look like on the right hand side where it says a uh, live preview here. So I click and dragged this verse of the day. So I'm going to I'm going to out you see it's no longer there. If I wanted to put it back, I just come over on the widget list and I'm going to grab verse of the day and drag it over. And maybe I want it below my reading, so I'm going to drop it there. And then you'll see it'll update on the right hand side. And there we go. So go ahead and play with that. It's uh, verse of the day comes from Faith Life. You can't really control what it is. It comes from them. The readings are, these are just choices you can pick. They don't have custom ones, at least not that I've determined. So I'm currently going through one. As you can see, I'm behind. i got to either catch up or click on it and start <laughs> reading it. But um, you can see if you have uh, your favorite links, you can put them in here. So you have your favorite websites you can jump to uh, real quick. You can pull in um, RSS feeds which, you know, is basically updates to other people's websites or podcasts. If you need help with it, feel free to uh, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help you with that. It's just a, a little advanced feature that you can do. The middle tab, since we're here, notifications, this is where if you don't want to get pinged every single time someone posts a message, you can um, change the settings here. And like here, I have immediate notifications come. I don't have it come via email because it's too many. So I do push, which means it's going to show up on my desktop as a little um, notification. And that way, if I'm not on my computer, it, it won't bother me and it won't clog up my email. But you, you can see the settings here. You can, like a post I've made that's replied to, I want to know immediately about that. But if I've just interacted with something, I can wait until I get the daily summary. So be aware of that notifications area. And a profile, of course, is where you can change your personal information that you're going to be showing to others who are in the Faith Life universe here. This is where you can change your picture. You just click on the, the camera icon and, you know, grab a photo from your, your computer or your tablet. Um, you can change your display name, have a little bio, 
I, I chose to put my, my Facebook thing in case people are trying to connect with me there. And you can set your, your profile URL. Like mine is Lori Jane, but I could make it Lori Jane USA. Um, you can change it to whatever you want. And that might be especially helpful for those who want to keep their identity a little bit private. You can put this uh, phone information, email information, if you want. You don't have to. I filled out my Facebook, uh, personal websites. You, you, know, you can decide how much you're going you're gonna to share. So that's the, the profile. And again, I got to that by clicking on my little picture in the upper right hand corner and then clicking on account settings. If you ever get lost and you're like, oh, what group am I in? How do I just want to get back to home base? Just click on this Faith Life logo in the upper left hand corner and it'll take you right to the main stream again. Now, let's say I want to go into the Berean group. So I'm going to, um, on the left hand side, these are all the groups that I have joined. So I want to go to the one that I'm interested in right now, Berean Christian. So you just click on it. And you'll notice the URL is going to change. And now it says faithlife.com slash Berean. And I'm on the activity page of that group. And it looks very similar to where I just was. But this stream is filtered with just the Berean Christian um, posts that have been made by other members for the administration. So, um, you know, you can interact with these, click like, you can say amen, you can read someone's reply and click like or amen on that, and you can go down and you can post your own reply, which is highly encouraged. Now, because I'm an administrator helping um, with this, I, I can choose to sometimes post as the admin or as myself, but you'll just see your, your own icon. And so if you have something that you want to share with the group or you want to start a discussion, just come right here. When you come to the activities page, just start posting right in here. It defaults to post, and that's, you know, 99% of the time, all you need to do, and you just start typing, and when you're done, you click post. Now, if you need to come and edit it after, you should have this edit function, like if you found a typo or you put the wrong time or something like that, you can edit your, your own posts. If you want to share your post after you... Um, create it, you can come here and click share and it'll give you this nice link that you can uh, copy and paste. If you need a little more formatting, you can click this article one and that will give you the ability to give it a title and do a little more formatting with bullets and things like that, so depending on how fancy you want to get. So really the main two you'll be using is post or the article post one. And let's see, what else can we show you? So this side view here is now the side view that's been selected by, you know, the, the, uh, the team that's helping with the uh, Faith Life group. So we chose to put the verse of the day as well. We put the RSS feed from Berean Pickets. Um, here's some recommended links that we've uh, put in we thought that you would like. So, you know, check them out and come back and post a comment if you liked it or not. The, the other main area in the community side, on the left-hand side, is going to be the, um, I would say, the group chat. So you just click on group chat on the left, and this is going to be very similar to WhatsApp or your text messaging, where you have, you're in a group text message, but it's specific to this Faith Life group. Um, I think this would be really good area to um, start using so that people who are at work and they have WhatsApp or whatever, if it starts blowing up on them at work, it can get kind of annoying and not everyone knows how to uh, turn those notifications off. So this way, people can come to the Faith Life group when they're ready and want to, and then um, it's all here together. And you can still do one-on-one -on -one chats, just like WhatsApp. You just click on the person's name and you can have... Um, like an individual chat like this. I was playing around with B today. And so she could um, write me back here. And this is just a one-on-one -on -one chat. And the way that you know if you're in a one-on-one -on -one or a group is you just look up. And this one says B. And also it's highlighted on the left underneath the people grouping. And then these are all my groups. If I click on Berean Christians, and then I look up, I can see, okay, I'm in the Berean Christians chat. And it will show me a little thumbnails of all the people 
Um, if they happen to be online, they'll, they'll be lit up. If they're offline, it'll be dim. They'll still get it when they log in. And it'll sh normally show up right here in this little bell icon, I think, or this communication one. I can't remember which. But whenever there's um, a text to catch up on, uh, okay, that's not it. Yes, this is it. This is where you'll see any messages waiting for you. Okay. Again, now I want to get back to the activity area, and I am like, okay, how do I get to that? Just click on the Faith Life icon and go back to home base and get into the, the group that you want to be in. So that was the chat. And then the other thing to show you is the um, calendar. If you click on calendar, it'll show you all the different um, Zoom meetings that are coming up. And this is a work in progress. I'm, I'm helping get all the, the different um, the groups in here. And if you know of a, a group that has a Bible study, and you'd like to be put on the calendar, just uh, let us know, and I'm sure we can we can do that for you. Um, so right now we just have the, these three put in, and we're working on adding them. The idea is that if you have joined, say, the Monday Bible Study Group, you're going to go to that subgroup, because right now in Berean Christians, if you go down here where it says groups, there's three of them. The Exodus Support Group, which is for um, those that have recently left like a high control group and, you know, really more for the for the newbies or people that just want to talk about their experience. It's not necessarily a Bible study. And then we've got the uh, Ways and Means Bible study, which is being held on Wednesdays. That's the one that Joe's leads and um, very, very good for how to study the Bible. And then the Monday one is uh, London time, and but everyone's invited. It's a verse-by-verse -verse Bible study with discussion. So let's just go into that one as an example of a subgroup. And the reason that we're keeping them separate is because there's different handouts, there's different conversations going on, and if someone isn't in the group, they don't want to be inundated with a whole bunch of, you know, text information and handouts and things that, you know, they're not even involved with. So this filters your view, so to speak. And if you come to the calendar here, this is where you're going to see the um, the items for that, that Monday group. And you'll be able to click on it and get all the Zoom details. Again, work in progress. But this has its own separate group chat. Okay, we don't have any activity in it yet. So you can keep all of your conversations all nice and organized under this, this Faith Life entity, regardless of whether it's a, a Berean subgroup or a whole other Faith Life group. Oh, someone just chatted me. Let me see. There. So Shelly had asked for the, um, the Zoom meeting that we're doing tomorrow. So I had private messaged her. And she just wrote back. So you can see I got that notification. Made it real easy for me to see that there was a, a message waiting for me. So thanks, Shelly, for helping me do that in real time. <laughs> um, and then the last thing to show you for all any group that you're in is the files area. And it's kind of tucked in this content area. And don't get overwhelmed by all these other things, sermons, newsletters, photos, videos. All you really need to do is go to files. That kind of overwhelmed me at first, too. And you're, as a member, free to upload anything that you want to share to the group. So if you have a PDF or a Word document or PowerPoint or something you put together that you want to share, this is, the, this is where you would come if you want it in the main group. If it's something for your Monday Bible study or your Wednesday Bible study, make sure you're in that, that group area and then go to the files to upload it. Um, so you just click upload. It's just like doing any upload in any website you've ever been. Like here's one for Space for Grace that um, Jim Fielder's been doing for us. So this was uploaded as a PDF. And then when you upload something, you know, you want to give it a title. And if, the, you know, the author, just type it in, a description. This all is, is helpful for searching and, and finding things. Tag it. Um, you can pretty much put anything in here if it's, it's a, if it's about, like this one has Elijah in it. So I'm going to, I'm going to put that in. 
because he did a few that were about Elijah, so that might help us to filter our search for it. And if you do see a document that you like and you want it in your own personal files, you can download it here. You can also share it. You can grab this link and share it. Okay? All right, so, and then to, to view items, you can preview it just by clicking on, on it, and it'll open like this. All right, so that's really it. That's how to get around Faith Life. Just, you know, look at your URL. That's your best friend to let you know where you are in Faith Life. I'm on my main page here. If I click on Berean Christians, that URL is going to change. I'm on the activity page. See how it says activity? That's the main stream for that group. Um, if I want to check out the files, I can click on content and files. I could even change the word activity to files. Sometimes that's just quicker. <laughs> and it'll take me right there. Okay, so hopefully that helps you get around Faith Life a little bit easier and not feel so lost. You've got your, your main um, posting area in the middle, and then you've got the calendar to the left, and you've got files to the left and chat to the left. So hopefully that will help you. If you need any help at all, I'm, I'm more than happy to help you get unstuck.